Hello everybody, welcome to Toy Talk and Stuff, my online toy museum. And today we are going to go over Optimus Primal Studio Series, Rise of the Beast action figure. Alright, so first of all, it's a really big box for a pretty small action figure. Uh, but it's a nice box, and uh, it's still going to go right in the trash. But uh, here you go, well, recycling. Alright, so here is what he looks like in ape mode and here he is in optimus primal mode and you can see he's got the blades with the uh, chain between them and he's got the trans warp key which trans warp i think was probably made popular in star trek the next generation because it's what the borg used to travel so quickly through the universe well all right be that as it may here is optimus primal in ape mode and uh, there he is you can see he's got a pretty severe countenance uh, serious look on his face and uh, you can rotate his head quite a bit of ways around he's got all this like realistic sculpting that would like move in the movie and he can open his mouth so take a look at that he's like ah you know so that's pretty neat um, and uh, you can see he's got all kinds of like hydraulics in there and if you look at episode 262 where i went over the ultimate edition this fella here and some other optimus primals you can compare this to those there you can see he's got the knife blades i mean i've done so many episodes on optimus primal on all the optimus primals even some uh, knockoffs that have existed uh so you can go through um my playlist and find that but all right, you have a placement here where you can stick his battle axe and then just pegs in there and you can take the swords out. And the way that these fit in is a little bit unique. So he's got fingers that, you know, he's going to move two fingers at a time individually, but it doesn't grab onto the blade correctly. You actually have to slide the handle into here and then his fingers close around it. So... Just something to know, um, you know, that it gives it a very secure grab there, like that. And then you can just peg this up in here, like that, uh, or down, and then it sort of makes it like it's uh, the guns, you see, like the end of it, and then peg the other one. And you can position him like an ape, and this is going to be something pretty neat you're about to see. I actually used to work at a zoo with the great apes. Uh, and uh, it's really great. That's why I love gorillas. So that's why there's so many Optimus Primal uh, shows I've done because I was working with the great ape house. All right. So here you go. And there you are. And so what's neat about this, he can get on all fours like an ape and move his head forward and but rotate the shoulders downward they can come out further to make the arms longer like an ape does have longer arms in proportion to their legs so that he can be on all fours but still looking forward which is uh, the way an ape a gorilla is you know the back legs are shorter and the uh, uh, arms are longer so it gives him the proper posture because a human being doesn't have that posture. You know, we have to get on our knees. Our legs are uh, significantly longer than our arms. And that compares to the Ultimate Edition. Now you can see the Ultimate Edition is much larger. Um, and actually cost-wise, this was about $30 more. You get a, quite a big, bigger figure for $30 more. But there's a pluses and minuses to both. I mean, I think the face on the um, studio edition is just really really great the detail in the forehead um, and uh, this also does the the arms you see they can slide go forward um, it has the ratchet in the legs this uh, the face changes has a unique face change uh, when it's in up uh, robot mode where you turn the face around and you can see that in episode 262 where you can change his uh, mouth position uh, 
just within you don't have to like take off a piece and put a different face on a mouth face uh, part of the face on uh, he also has the bending fingers they bend a little bit different a little bit more they have you know you have a second bend in there in the in the finger which so again this is the ultimate edition but this is uh this is a great figure episode 262 you can see all about that um and here are his swords but all right so moving on with this one another thing i really like about this figure is it's pretty easy to transform so you can take it and you can have him up standing up you know because gorillas can't stand and there's a scene in the movie where he is standing and he's talking to his uh other gorilla buddy you know and and so he can stand just like that all right but transforming him is not that difficult and the ultimate edition actually is it there's a part that's really difficult to get the uh back part of the body to snap into the chest and get the head to fit uh it's very annoying because it's very difficult and feel like i'm going to break something each time so uh to turn him into robot mode the the legs just fold like that they really just fold out and then this folds down and then this goes back let's see here Like that. And I believe I have some manipulating to do in the leg here. Um there. Okay. And then we're gonna move this all around. That's gonna open. And this is very similar to the really simple toy ones as well as the ultimate edition. So you open that up. You got to turn the head around though, so it'll fit right. And then close that. And then that's gonna close up. I might, you know what? Maybe I remember incorrectly. Let me see. But I don't think so. Hang on. Maybe I do remember that. Let's see. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like that. It's going to go all the way around. It's the only thing. This is always a little bit tricky. It always was on all of the Optimus Primes to get, get the head to go in all the way. All right, so it's giving me trouble. Let me investigate this. Okay, so the instructions are very difficult to see. It's... It, just transformer instructions in general uh, with the blue and everything is not good. The proper position in order to get the head to fit, it only fits one way. So when you open the, you open the chest up and you have, here's the Optimus primal head, all right? So it rotates, all right? So this comes and you rotate it. You have to have it in such a way that the chin is exposed. So you can turn the head different ways. So you could you could have the head like that, or you can have the head turned around the gorilla head that way where it's the open part underneath. You see that? Okay. That's not going to work. Neither one of those is going to work. So if you have it open like that, that where you can see the ball joint, that won't work. The face showing opposite the back of the robot head is not going to work what you have to do is then tip it and then the chin okay and then you can take it and it snaps and fits in place there you go okay so then you fold the, oh the other thing is is you unhook this back here so he can turn 
Okay, so in gorilla mode, he doesn't turn like that, but in robot mode, this unhooks, and he can turn, then this can fold down, and fold that back like that. Okay, all right, so, uh, and then the legs, yeah, they, okay, those are, yeah, we could put these up here, the knees, okay, all right. Now, the arms actually change, so these are gorilla-sized hands, so those will change. Now, this is another one of these things where the positioning is critical. So this moves this panel here, and then you see there's another set of hands underneath, and then this rotates all the way around. Now, this has to be turned. Hopefully, I'll get it right the first time. Uh, you, can, you close the fist, and let's see. I think it is the other way like that let's see no maybe it's upside down I had to work with it uh, quite a bit the other day all right so maybe it's like that get that in there and then that let's see not oh, yeah, the other rotates around try not to break anything it folds down and then that clicks and then there okay so now you have the robot hand which is a little bit smaller and then this also then this closes like that okay so you don't have those uh forearm missiles on this like you do on the ultimate edition look at this see and like you have there that pops out and you know that's very much like what you had on the original optimus primal back from like what uh, 1996 all right so then again on the other side and then move this out of the way and then make a fist rotate the hand around make it the other way Then this also rotates, right? And that goes down, then that snaps on. That goes down. All right, and then there you go. Turn that. And there you go. Optimus primal mode, robot mode. And then you can take the swords and put those in his hand. And then if you want, you can do the chain thing. So this seems a little bit, at first, a little too tight. Um, like I was worried that this plastic might snap there. And you know what? Over time, as I've discussed how plastic gets brittle, it might. It feels, uh, if the plastic is the right kind of plastic, it won't. But I'm not sure that it is. It seems a little bit hard to be the right kind of plastic that's not going to get brittle over time. But I could be wrong. All right, and then you can put the other sword in the other hand and then connect them up here. All right, there you go. And then you can stick this back here. There, just in case he needs an ax. All right, and there you go. Studio. Optimus Primal, and it comes with, yeah, your trans warp key, right? Okay, and we have the little display over here to make our uh, Optimus Primal diorama. So there you go, you have like a nice forest scene. Okay, and then if you have room, then you can take your Optimus Prime. And there you go. And then everybody's happy. And hopefully you won't lose this piece, right? Okay, so this is a pretty instinctive uh, transformer to transform. Not that difficult. Um, 
I didn't use the instructions at all other than to look to check the head position and find out that the instructions were not helpful. So I still didn't use the instructions. Um, and uh, this one, same thing. I didn't. I found I really didn't need the instructions for this either. Um, you know, this one actually fires missiles. Uh, they have like, a, it's, it's not a spring, but it's like the pressure push. You know, but uh, they're both just great. I love Optimus Primal. So, all right, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and I will be talking to you in the new year.